Welcome back to YouTube guys. Like, subscribe, comment. Don't forget to ring that notification bell down the bottom there. But I want to show you this it does have a lifetime more test, just instructions and whatnot. As you see, do not use an impact wrench on this tool, but I have seen people do it. So I'd be up to you, you know, I ain't telling you yay or nay, but right there it shows the label. This hair, sorry about the camera turning there guys. I just tightened my tripod. This hair is a bearing press for a front wheel drive car. It's something you really need because any more costs 40 to $60 for a shop to press and unpress bearings now on your vehicle. Now let's take it in, they take the whole car apart and then do it there in the shop and you'll probably look at a three to 500. But this is well worth it. Sure you can rent these at AutoZone for about 100 bucks for a loaner tool or your auto parts tour, but why do that? I only pay like 50 for this on eBay for like two two weeks, maybe a month ago, I think. It, I ordered it and got it. And uh, it's well worth it because if you get something from a rental place, nine times out of 10, if your tool breaks, then you'll have to, you won't get your deposit back. So it's best to buy your own though, you know, you got different dyes, you know, here, there, they're labeled right here, like, this one's a 19, or, yeah, 19, I'm all right, 955 slice 13, you know, different dyes for different things, different size bearings, that's the size out one right there. The biggest I got is these, you know, it goes with these coupling rings right here. Of course, you get a big bolt, a big fitted like nut thing, a wash, a couple washers. Um, these here to slide your bearings in and out, you know, kind of like that when you press them in and out. There's always usually a lock ring you can take off of your steering knuckle or brake drum, whatever you press them in and out of. Usually a snap ring pliers or just needle nose plier, you know pliers and of course flathead screwdriver this is the next cup size I got right there this is the big granddaddy of them all right there I got two size cups you know so yeah that's the bearing press here I mean you got like I said I got the smallest die right here which would be that size right there what should be, sorry I had it upside down, 9.55 slice 08. But these, these are about 50 bucks through eBay. And they're well worth it because I've had wheel bearings pressed in by a machine shop just for like brake drums or steering knuckles or something, take something in, 40 to 80 bucks for both. You know, thing is 50 bucks. Probably think it's a little bit salty in price, but really, theologically, it ain't because you can do it yourself for the ride at home. You know, this professional set. Yeah, do you think I think it's professional grade? Yes, it is. Do you think I feel cheap in your hand? Hell no, it ain't. I mean, this one here, this case here, to be exact, when I checked it out, I think on FedEx's website when they delivered it, was about around 25 pounds. So it's like picking up two dead bodies. Literally speaking, two dead bodies. And I got another video I got to run today. I got a slide hammer kit I'm going to do. And then at the same about the same time I ordered this, I ordered a metric standard type of die. So you're going to get three videos today. And some more this week as I get some more tools in. Because I like working on my own car basically because it saves time and money with labor. This way, if I have the tool, I'll do is buy the part, put the part in. Um, yeah, it's a lifetime warranty, as you can tell. This booklet here tells you what cars is which. I mean, it don't have my key in there, but I do have my uh, 2016 key reel. The bearing presses should work for that great. Um... But yeah, oh no, it's a darn good set. And when I get this video uploaded, then I'll start the other one, then I'll do the next one. But 
that's the review on this and these are pretty heavy I mean super heavy I mean these darn things were weightful when I turned around and tried to get it out of the FedEx box and my slide hammer I'm about to show you I think it's weighed about 19 pounds or so through UPS ground but uh, well, is this worth the money yeah do I think it's professional quality or do it yourself or a professional garage mechanic could use this yes I do um, and I wanted to say thank you for 199 subscribers. I'm like one away from the big two zero zero. So let's get them banging. Try to get Lacey some more. I don't know what the heck to deal with this is because she's like stuck at 11. Rick, my buddy from Ghost Police Paranormal, is like stuck at 36. And I'm rocking the door here. But anyhow, and everything is all labeled right there too, as you can tell. That's Jen. But thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, thumbs it up. No haters, no trolls. You can be blocked. Ring that notification bell down below to get more future videos like this. And thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.